From Dancing with the Stars to Dirty Dancing, fans have followed Henry Bialikoff's journey all the way through, and we are so excited that you're joining us here on Dance Network. Thank you for having me. I'm so excited to be able to chat with you guys. All right, well, let's talk about this, because um, we haven't seen you in a few seasons on Dancing with the Stars, and now you're doing musical theater. It's kind of like a whole 180. You know, this has kind of been my goal. I wanted to parlay and move into musical theater, and so this actually is kind of poetic because back in 2005 I auditioned for the show in Australia so to be actually on it under studying Johnny you know Patrick Swayze is a big sort of idol of mine it's just perfect how um true is it to the f the movie in terms of like the Kenny Ortega movement and everything that we're also familiar with we know the lift has mm. to be in there yeah I mean this is pretty pretty damn close to the movie everything you know of the movie you will see on stage however there's just so much more there's live music there's live dancing you know the actors are fantastic I mean our Johnny and baby are phenomenal um, and our choreographer Michelle uh, Lynch is incredible so the the, the movement looks incredible um, Eleanor Bergstein you know, she's been on board since 2005 when it started so you know you know you're getting this the the same quality but just for me musical theater is far more special because you get to live in the moment right there and who knows what can happen Johnny goes down halfway through first act and uh, you see a different Johnny <laughs> yeah talk about that because you recently went in and this was halfway through the first act you're in the you said you were in the sound booth listening yes. and, and watching? And I was noting at this point. So we were in West Palm in uh, Florida. We'd just come back off a break. And so I was just noting the show with uh, the stage manager, my assistant. And we had actually the lady that is in, in charge of the microphones. So I'll get to why that's important later. So I'm, I'm noting it. It's the beginning. I see someone go off stage and come back on. I think, oh, that, that was weird. Um, someone forgot their microphone. Um, so we, I'm noting, 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 and then all of a sudden I see the microphone lady just move off to the side and I think, oh, that's a bit strange. Mm -hmm. And then I'm like, well, that's fine, whatever, someone was just off, so I keep noting. And then I see the stage manager get up and go to the corner and face the corner and I was thinking, why is she facing the corner? She is like never ever, like she's just nonchalant, you know, very, very stern face, never worried about anything. She's facing the back, I'm thinking, okay, that's weird. I keep going, she turns around, looks at me with the, like a ghost face, you're on for Johnny. And I, in my mind, I just, there was so much panic coming at me that I was just like, just no Blank. reaction. Blank, no, nothing. No reaction. And then she's like, you're on for Johnny. I just turn around, start running. I'm thinking, okay, what costumes do I need to change into? What are my lines? What are my movements? What are my entries and exits? And meanwhile, I'm running back. My, I've, I have like a full scruff that I need to shave off as well. And I'm thinking, oh, this is, this is going to be one hell of a show. Uh, where are we in the show? <laughs> Did they stop the show momentarily and, and no. have you come in? No. No. no stoppage. It was literally through. He was on for his last sort of scene. And then there's this little break that he gets and then he comes back on before the whole, I won't give it away, but before the whole Johnny Baby sequence begins. And so that's what I came in for. So can you imagine the audience has gotten used to seeing him dance, seeing, listening to him. And all of a sudden here comes this guy. Firstly, I got dark hair. He's got blonde hair. That's, that's a first. And then secondly, you know, the, the accent is a little different. So I, I do put on an American accent mm -hmm. when I go on. So you won't hear an Australian, you know, Patrick, uh, uh, Johnny. And so. you're backstage <laughs> shaving in between. Yes, and doing my hair and just, just getting the microphone put up because this thing has to go all the way from the back up to the top of your head and right through here. So I'm just like bent over at a desk doing this while the microphone <laughs> lady is, is working through the, the, the mic. So it was incredible and we were able to pull it off and it was you know, I mean, for me, that was one of the most special moments of my life because A, I've always idolized that role and I've always wanted to, to go on for it. I mean, clearly in Australia, I, I had some intention, but then actually getting to do it, um, even though it was halfway through the first act, it was kind of like a heroic feeling, you know what I mean? Like, oh my God, I've got to step in and get, get the show where it needs to be. And I, I was able to do that, thank God. So Yeah, I mean, the show must go on and, and you nailed it. It's so. live theater, yes. yeah. So you're on tour now through the end of June with Dirty Dancing? That's right, till June 25th. That's as far as we go. All right, so people can see you all across the country. Everywhere. We're going to be, I mean, literally East Coast, West Coast, South, North, Central. <laughs> We're going to be everywhere, so you can catch us. Well, it's nice to see you back in L.A. just for a brief stay, but uh, nice great catching up with you. Great catching up with you, too. Thank you for having me. See you guys.